to understand the rearray solution, you first need to know about DDoS attacks. But to understand DDoS attacks, we need to explain a thing or two about botnets. So let's start at the beginning. This is an example of regular communication between a browser and a web server. A user enters the web address. The browser sends a request to the web server. The web server looks up the requested web page and returns the data to the browser. Executing a simple denial of service attack, the attacker sends a large number of special requests. When the load is too much for the server to cope with, it will fail to respond. When a legitimate user tries to access a web page, the request will time out. In a DOS attack, the malicious packets are sent from a single device. But in a DDoS attack, the target is hit from several devices simultaneously. Launching the attack from multiple devices offers several advantages. More devices means more available bandwidth to flood the target. It's harder for the victim to find and block all involved source IP addresses. But when a real array is deployed in front of your company's web server, it blocks DOS and DDoS attacks while keeping your systems online for regular usage. When a large swarm of computers acts under the control of a single attacker, it's called a botnet. We will now continue to show you how botnets are commonly created. The attacker acquires a virus, comes up with a cool name, and combines the two into a so-called Trojan horse. Next, the attacker will upload the Trojan to various popular peer-to-peer -peer networks. A curious internet user notices the freewares offered on peer-to-peer -peer and downloads it to his PC. Installation of the freewares fails, but leaves behind a virus hidden from the end user. When your PC gets infected, the virus will first phone home. If necessary, update its own code to then await further instructions. Let me introduce to you the attacker. The botnet command center. Your e-commerce server. Globally distributed botnet clients. Command from attacker to all bonded clients. DDoS attack your server today at 2300 hours. Notice how the attacker avoids direct contact with any client. All clients pull their jobs.
from an IRC server. Once the attack has been scheduled, it's only a matter of time before all hell breaks loose.